All right, I'm in the locker room with goalie Vitek Vanacek. You guys just had morning skate. Feeling good out there? How do you feel the uh, the team's vibe is heading into tomorrow's matchup against the Rangers? I mean, for sure, we felt uh, really good on the ice, and then uh, first game tomorrow, and uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be battle, you know. I think it's positive uh, mood in the locker room, so I think we're gonna come uh, strong. Everyone keeps talking about the experience. They obviously had the run that they had last year, and they talked about the inexperience on you guys' team. But you beat them three times in regulation this year. Are you? What's the what's the mindset with this team, and how do you answer when it comes to people saying that you guys may not have as much playoff experience as them? Uh, me personally, I don't think it's uh, too much about the experience. You know, you just have to come uh, out and then uh, play. Uh, uh, play uh, good hockey, you know. It's defensively and then offensively, and then goalies have, has to be there in the playoffs, you know. So if we're gonna come strong and then uh, play good hockey, I think it's not about the experience. Your first two games are here in the Rock. How is it, how important is it for you guys to get one or two out out of this uh, first two games? Yeah, I mean uh, for sure it's uh, it's huge for us play two games uh, home, you know, like before our our fans, you know, and then. Uh, uh, we have to get it like two two games and then it will be great. Personally, what's been going through your head the last 24 hours as we get closer to puck drop? I mean, I'm not thinking about it. I'm just trying to like, I'm just thinking when I'm here and then hard work, you know, when I, when I go home, I just uh, living normal life, you know, like not trying to think about it. And then when I'm come before the game, you know, I try focus on myself and then help the team in the games. Is there any point now where you, I play professional football, so I'm thinking about going into like crossing all my T's, dotting all my I's before I stepped into that first, that first playoff game. Um, are you watching more film? Is there anything that you're t talking, telling yourself that you can get an edge on just by doing the extra hours of work that we put in as athletes? Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, I'm doing uh, ice work too, you know, like home and then trying to, uh, Focus on uh, on the puck, you know more. So it's uh, we, we, I'm doing some yeah, work yeah. like that for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Nice, nice. Well, good luck tomorrow, man. Take Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, I'm here with the man of the week, Luke Hughes, in the locker room. Uh, I, I mean, I kind of want to talk to you about this last week, man. Like a lot. I imagine it's everything's coming at you full speed, full circle. Not only scoring and assisting uh, in, in the game, but now you're getting ready for a huge playoff matchup. Just take us through this last week, week and a half. Yeah, I mean, it's been pretty crazy. Uh, really quick turnaround from leaving Michigan after the Final Four and, um, you know, getting here the next day. So, um, you know, it's been it's been awesome, and I had to acclimate really quickly and. Um, you know, it's great to be here. The guys have been great. The coaching staff's been great, and um, you know, it's pretty exciting right now. Uh, you're talking about acclimating pretty quickly. My man uh, Lazar right now just gave you a, a huge tip on terms of standing up when you do your interviews. So, who's kind of been like some of the the big homies, as we call them, in the football locker room? That's kind of getting you up to speed on how to be a pro. Uh, I think all the guys have been been great. I think obviously my brother. Um, you know, Nico, Bass, Mikey, those guys, Laser, um, you know, a bunch of guys like that. So, um, you know, I think I've gotten advice from probably everyone in the locker room, and um, the guys have been great, and, you know, I'm just excited to be here. Uh, Kale McCarr is someone who you kind of, when you're talking about your career and him, I'm a UMass guy, oh, yeah. a UMass football guy, he's <laughs> UMass hockey. Uh, when he came out with the Avalanche, I was living in Denver, comes out scoring his first uh, uh, playoff appearance of just pl first appearance in general uh, in his career kind of do you see some similarities in that um, when it comes to your career as well I mean I don't really know I think you know guys like him my brother Quinn Zach Wierenski guys like that I went two years in college and um, you know I think it really helped them and you know I did the same thing and I think it's a you know a great path for a lot of young defensemen that uh, that want to kind of step in right away and, and help a team out so um, you know, I think that's you know one similarity. I don't, I don't really know. I, I think I, I watch more guys like my brother, um, Heiskanen, guys like that. But uh, you know, obviously he's probably one of the best, one of the best, if not the best, defenseman in the, in the National League. So um, it's good to take things from his game too. You talk about your brother. Like, what what have you learned so far? What have you seen from him so far? Just with this time of being able to play with him professionally. Yeah, I think. Um, you know he's he's pretty goofy off the ice, and then one, once he gets on the ice, he uh, he's a he's a warrior, and he takes it really seriously. So um, you know he's an absolute competitor, and um, you know he's done an unbelievable job this year leading this team, and um, I think he's going to do a, a great job leading in the playoffs too. 
Uh, your coach Lindy Ruff has said if the guys are on the roster, they have a chance of playing in this series. Um, how are you getting yourself ready for that stay ready mentality? Yeah, I mean, I think I'm just pretty even keel right now. Um, you know, I, I've told a bunch of people that you know I'm I'm ready and I'm prepared for the prepared to play. And you know, if my name get, does get called, then I'll be ready to to do my job. So, um, you know, I'm really excited. I know. You know, I know these guys have played 82 games, and it's been a long season, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm ready to. All right, good luck, man. All right, thank you. Appreciate it. Game one, right around the corner. Your mindset, team mindset. Yeah, you know, we're excited. You know, um, we wanted to start it already. You know, I bet fans are excited. Um, you know, we work on a few details. You know, we have to, you know, to be good during the, those, uh, during the series. So we're excited. So this morning, coach kind of brought you guys together. Some of the guys were on the knee, you were watching the whiteboard. I know you can't take us what was on the whiteboard, but like these last minute preparations, what are some of the things you guys are telling yourselves that you need to make sure you get done to handle business tomorrow? Well, you know, we want to be on the top of our game. You know, um, these drills just help us, you know, with the little details, what we have to do good, you know, to be successful. And that's why we're practicing them. You beat these guys three times already in the regular season. They got you once in overtime. Uh, everyone's talking about experience here, experience. The Rangers have the most experience. And to that, you say what? Yeah, you know, they have a great team. You know, we have a lot of respect for them. We have to be absolutely on the top of our game to be able to succeed during this series. So, you know, we want to focus more on ourselves and what we have to be, uh, you know, to do to be able to succeed. And we don't want to focus too much on other team. Ryan Graves said that you guys deserve to have the better seed. You guys deserve to be in this moment. Is I mean, kind of take us through the mindset all season and leading us up to this moment. Yeah, you know, we worked very hard through 82 games, you know, to be where, are, where we are. And uh, I think at the end of the season, we just confirm it. I mean, it gives you a slight advantage, but it uh, doesn't mean, you know, you're going to win the series. So um, we have to be ready from the game one. It's going to be a long series. It's going to be a good series. And, you know, hopefully we're ready. Do you guys have the underdog mentality? I wouldn't say underdog, but um, like I said, uh, it's, it's going to be a hard series. Uh, you know, we'll see how how many games we'll take. We we know how good they are, and we have certain respect. But at the same time, we know what we have to do to be successful. Right. Good luck this series, man. Thank you. Appreciate it.